Hello, my name is Akin Ayn Bafu, and I'm the director of planning at Bay Street Capital Holdings, a minority-owned firm based in the Silicon Valley. Today, I'm going to address the question, what is the best way to save for college? In my professional opinion, a 529 plan is the best way to accomplish this, and here's why. A 529 plan is a college savings plan that offers tax and financial aid benefits. There are two types of 529 plans, a college savings plan and a prepaid tuition plan. Almost every state has at least one 529 plan, while the college savings plan is the more popular of the two. A 529 is an investment account that offers tax-free earnings growth and tax-free withdrawals when the funds are used to pay for qualified education expenses. Qualified expenses including tuition and fees, books and materials, room and board for students who at least half time, computers and related equipment, internet access, and special needs equipment for students attending a college, university, or other eligible post-secondary educational institutions. The recent Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 also allows tax-free distributions for up to $10,000 per year per beneficiary to pay for K-12 through tuition expenses at private, public, and religious schools. The SECURE Act of 2019 allows tax-free distributions for student loan repayment up to $10,000 per borrower's lifetime for the beneficiary and the beneficiary's siblings. Note, the earning portion of a non-qualified withdrawal may be subject to federal and state income tax, as well as a 10% tax penalty. Since your contributions were made with after-tax money, there will never be taxed or penalized. There are limits for these contributions that adjust with the annual gift exclusions amount. For this year, an individual can contribute up to $15,000 per individual or $30,000 if married filing jointly. There is an ability to do a lump sum contribution by taking advantage of the five-year rule, which essentially allows for a $75,000 contribution or a $150,000 contribution for married filing jointly filers every five years. Some states do offer state income tax incentives to investors as well, such as a state income tax deduction and tax credits for contributions to the state's 529 plan. Researcher states tax treatment as each state varies and this could influence what state you use. When deciding the dollar amount to fund the account with, understand that last year, 85% of all college students received some type of financial aid. So better to slightly underfund than overfund these plans, which is a great segue to the natural question this creates. What happens if my child doesn't use the 529 plan? Well, the future is always uncertain and some parents worry about losing the money they saved in the 529 plan if their child doesn't go to college or gets a scholarship. Generally, you'll pay income tax and a penalty on the earnings portion of a non-qualified withdrawal, but there are some exceptions. So let's talk if this is your situation. If you liked what you've heard today, please subscribe to our YouTube page, Bay Street Capital Holdings, or give me a call at 650-781-8880. Take care.